Hello again, guys. Welcome back to Tim Baldwin Magic. Today's trick is called the bar exam. So to start with, we'll give the deck a little bit of a shuffle here. Mix it up nice and good. And as I'm shuffling, I'd invite the spectator to call out stop whenever they want. So let's say they call out stop right here. That's fine. Show them this card, have them remember it. Now, usually I would not know what this card is. They would not tell me. I would not look at it. Uh, to demonstrate this trick, though, I have to know what this card is. So I'll take a look. It's the Four of Clubs. That's fine. Usually I would not know what it is. Lose the card in the deck. Uh, at this point, I would hand the deck to the spectator, and I would turn around. So my back at this point is to the spectator. I'd have them uh, take the deck, mix it up a little bit further if they'd like. And I'd have them do uh, a couple of things now. First, I'd have them go through and take out their card. We're gonna use their card for something special uh, in just a moment. So they'll go through and take out their card, in this case, the Four of Clubs. Just place it aside. Now I'm gonna have the spectator uh, divide the deck into two face-up piles on the table. But I'm gonna give them uh, three options and they can pick whichever one of those three options they want. Uh, it's completely up to them. They can divide the deck into red cards and black cards. They can divide the deck into uh, low cards, which would be ace through seven, and high cards, eight through king, lows and highs. Or they can divide the deck into odd cards and even cards, odds being ace, three, five, seven, nine, uh, jack, king, evens, two, four, six, eight, ten, queen. So whatever they want to do, reds, blacks, Lows, highs, odds, or evens. They do not tell me. They keep that completely to themselves. So uh, let's say they go with reds and blacks uh, for this uh, for this trick. But they can tri they can pick either of the other options if they want, and the trick will work the same way. So they'll make a pile of red cards and black cards on the table. We should have black cards and red cards. Or again, lows, highs, odds, evens, whatever they want to do. I'd have them then take their card and insert it into either pile. It doesn't matter which pile they put it in. Just remember what pile you put it in, but it doesn't matter. Let's say they put it in this pile. Again, doesn't matter. I'd have them then uh, take both their piles, put them back to back, and put them together like that. And drop the deck there on the table. Now, only at this point do I turn back around. I do not know what the spectator's card is. I don't know how they divided the deck, reds or blacks or you know whatever, uh, whatever option they picked. I don't know what pile they put their card into. I don't know where their card is. I don't know if it's near the top, near the bottom. I know nothing about what or where their card is. But I'm gonna try to not only find their card, I'm gonna take out their card from the pile it's in, and I'm gonna put it in the opposite pile. So what I would do is, I, as soon as I would turn back around, I would take the deck and immediately put it behind my back. I'd put it under the table. Uh, I would not look at the cards or spread through them. I would just immediately take the deck and put it out of my view. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put the deck under the table in this situation. And like I said, I'm gonna try to find their card and remove it and put it in the opposite pile. And I'll try to do that as quickly as I can here. Reach in, try to find their card. I think I got it. It's like that. Now for the first time, I'd ask the spectator what card they selected. They would tell me the four of clubs. Uh, again, in this situation, I know what it is, but usually I would not. Uh, I'd I would ask them how they divided the deck, reds, blacks, lows, highs, whatever. Uh, in this case, they would tell me reds and blacks. And finally, I would ask them what pile did you put your card in, the black pile or the red pile? And in this case, they would tell me the red pile. So we're going to see how lucky I was at finding your card. So if we spread through the cards here, look through the red cards, we should not see your four of clubs. It's no longer there, which means hopefully I was successful in taking it out and putting it instead in the black pile. If we spread through, sure enough, right there, we have your four of clubs. This card, by the way, can be signed. It's the same card they saw uh, at the beginning of the trick. 
So that is the effect, you guys. It's called the bar exam. And again, you can do this with reds and blacks, lows or highs, odds or evens, however you want to divide the deck in half. You can uh, find their card blindly in one half and put it into the other half, just like I did here. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this trick. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Appreciate you watching as always, guys. Please come on back soon, and I will see you next time.